Okay, so for this question, I mean, it looks a bit challenging because there's a square. Uh, but the, the fact is, don't worry, because end of the day, remember, uh, when you want to simplify things, right, we try to remove the square, right? We try to break away, take away brackets. We try to combine like them. So these are the, some of the very common strategy. We remove brackets when we are simplifying. We remove brackets as much as possible. Okay, just to so that we can unpack the terms. And we always try to pack the like terms together. Okay, to make your fraction uh, as simplistic as possible. You try to cancel and simplify the fractions as possible. So you try to cancel common factors as much as possible. So all these things right along the way will make your journey easier. You'll make your numbers smaller. You make your fraction tidier. It's easy for you to, to, to do the working. So let's look at uh, the first one. If we were to take 2 square root 7 minus 3, I mean, just observe the fact if we do use the identity of a minus b bracket square, this will give you uh, a square uh, minus 2 a b plus b square. Okay, so 2 square roots, uh, if you square this, that's going to give you 4 times 7, that's 28. 2, 2, 3, that's going to give you a 12 square root 7. And 3 square, that will give you a 9. So combining the denominator, your denominator actually is just basically 37 minus 12 square root 7. Okay, so if I employ the same idea, uh, this is actually, because they are actually conjugate, uh, it's 37 plus 12 square root 7. So, so all in all, your question, this portion here is actually this. This portion here is actually this. Huh? So I'm trying to tell you that it's actually not as difficult as you think. I've taken away the fraction for you. I've taken away the, the brackets for you. So this is your first fraction, this is your second fraction, and this is what it looks like. Okay, very very uh, beautiful and easy to solve. Okay, so with this, okay, with this, ah, huh? okay. So what 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 remains is just bringing them together, and you see this will be like your previous question, where very nicely, right? The the, the fractions are huh? the denominators; they are conjugates of each other, so you can easily just combine them together. Okay, just by bringing the same denominator together so the first one this is like 37 so just multiplying by the conjugate because i see a my denominator is a third whether you are trying to multiply conjugate or you are trying to combine the same denominator you will end up with the same step that's the first fraction the second fraction again i also either you multiply by conjugate or you just have the intention of combining it into the same denominator you will get the same denominator huh? okay you can see that they are just basically conjugates okay with that you are ready to go so again just take note if you have a minus and a minus every fraction there's an invisible bracket so do not make the mistake of keeping this as a minus again okay so yep so with that uh, you have 37 plus uh, 12 square root 7 minus 37 minus 37 uh, plus 12 square root 7 because this is originally a minus so minus minus this become a plus okay so take note denominator is just a square minus b square that will be a 37 square minus uh, b square which is 12 square root 7 square and if you simplify this you will find that it cancels off very nicely and of the day you are going to get 24 square root 7 over 361 okay and that's for this question